If you use the stomp box standalone and you save a bunch of presets to the stomp box when you're not using the app, you might want to, at the end of the day, back up those presets that are only on the stomp box and suck them into the app so that you can save them there as well. That's easy to do. Here you'll see we're in the preset list screen and because iPad is selected in the left bar, this means that you're showing all the preset lists that are on the iPad. Right now there's only one, it's called MSG, and these are the presets that are in there. But if you go to the H9170, which is the stomp box we're using right now, this shows you all of the presets that are currently in that stomp box. If you want to back all those presets up to the app, just go to the top and say save to iPad. This will take a few minutes to upload all the presets from the stomp box to the app. Once it's done backing up all of the presets from the stomp box, it'll say save completed, press OK. And now when you go back to the iPad preset list, whereas there used to only be one preset that called MSG, now there's also a preset list called H9 00170 presets, which is what you just uploaded. And if you want, you can go to more and rename it and rename it with something like the date to remember, you know, the day you came up with those presets. And there you go. Now that you have all the presets from this day backed up onto your iPad, you can feel free to restore your stomp box to its factory settings or save 99 new presets, whichever you want, and back them up all over again if you feel like.